I'm Eli. Welcome back to our SL Daily Dose of Science. Today we are making CO2 powered pop bottle boats. Um, and again, they're just what the materials you can find around the house. And Eli can explain more about what materials you can use to make this at home. Alright, so to do this experiment, you're going to need a pop bottle, of course. Uh, you're going to need a straw which we have right up here. We're going to need some uh, vinegar and baking soda as this is the reaction that's going to be powering our boat. Tissue paper, some string, um, and then you're going to need uh, some modeling clay. Now this you can switch out for anything that makes a good seal. So silly putty, play-doh, hot glue gun, chewed used gum, whichever you have at home uh, that you can use at this time. We also have, we recommend using a funnel. And then you're going to need a couple of measuring instruments as well um, in order to make sure you have the, the correct measurements for the reaction to occur. So, uh, with that all being taken care of, we'll go ahead and show you guys how to make the boat itself. So, to make our pop bottle boat, it's not too difficult. We're going to start with our pop bottle. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your straw and place it near the base, and you're going to draw a circle around it. Try to trace it as best you can. If it's not perfect, that's okay. We can fix that later. Once you've drawn the circle on there, go ahead and cut that out. You as the parent should do this task just because this is a pretty difficult plastic to cut through. Um, we used a Zacto knife to cut through ours. However, if you do not have a Zacto knife, you could probably use a paring knife at home or if you have a power drill, you could use that as well. Um, however, you need to go about getting a hole cut in there for your kid, you know, go ahead and do that. Once you have the hole cut, we're gonna add our straw. So you're gonna take your straw and you're gonna slide it in through that hole at an angle, all right? And you're gonna try and find a good spot for it and you're gonna cut off the excess. I try to make mine to be flat with my pop bottle so that way I can still set it on its end. If you don't, that's fine. It'll just make things a little easier later on. So once you have that set, you trim it. And so we have our straw inside of our pop bottle. And the last thing we're going to do is taking that um, that modeling clay, which is what we're using again. Like I said last time, you can use anything: hot glue gun, silly putty, plate, or whatever you have at the house. You're going to take that and you're going to tear off a piece of that, and you're going to create a seal around the straw in order to make sure we don't have any water leaking into our boat, or that we don't have the uh, gas leaking out of it when we're actually doing the experiment. But once you have it nice and sealed tight, uh, then you have your boat completed and you are ready to move on to the next step for us to get this ready to go and calling itself across the water. All right, so before we get into making the actual chemical reaction happen, I would recommend that you guys take your boat and kind of place it in the water to see how it sits. Mine was kind of tilting to its side, which will affect it. If that happens, I just took some of the modeling clay and I used it to kind of create a counterweight to balance it out so now it sits evenly. So if you need to, make sure you check that beforehand, placing the weights on your boat to see if you can't get that as flat and level as you can beforehand. Okay? Good. So now here's the part where we're gonna mix ingredients to produce the CO2 that powers our pop bottle boat. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to add our vinegar right to the bottle. So we're going to put the funnel in there and we're going to add half a cup of vinegar. Yes, we're going to just use the regular half a cup measuring spoon. And it might be easier to people to do this so someone can hold the funnel like Eli is doing while someone else pours vinegar in. This is also the reason why I mentioned earlier it's a good idea to try and make that straw flat with the bottom of your bottle see because now I can leave it sitting upright and we don't have to deal with holding it the entire time. The second thing you're going to need is we're going to make kind of like a little packet of baking soda. So with our tissue we cut it in half that way we don't have a super big piece and even further still if it's layered tissue paper you can go ahead and peel the layers apart because the thinner this is the faster the reaction will occur. Now we're going to put two tablespoons of baking soda on here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of roll it up like a Tootsie Roll and tie off the ends. So I will go ahead and roll this up if you want to grab your two pieces of string and cover it. And 
once we have this done, we'll be ready to show you guys how it works. So we have our packet. You also want to make sure that it's relatively skinny so that way it'll fit through the bottle um, lip, right? So let's go ahead, we've got everything here set up. Let's move on to show you guys how this works. So now that we have everything set up, we're uh, gonna show you guys how this is gonna work. So we did bring out this tub of water here so you guys can watch. Of course, at home you can use your bathtub or if you have like a kiddie pool outside, that would be perfect to let your kids kind of explore out of this. So you're gonna tilt it to the side a little bit and you're gonna want the straw propeller kind of pointing down. This is very important. <laughs> Make sure the straw is on the bottom for the reaction to occur properly. And then we're gonna slide this. Okay. So you have that just kind of resting there at the top. Back on. All right. So now we are ready. So we have this set up and we have our water. So once you're ready to get this go, you're going to give it a good shake to get everything kind of mixed and reacting and then it'll start propelling its way across. So once you guys are ready. I'm going to project it over. Ours is a little turn. But what we're seeing here going on is that that reaction is occurring and that's creating CO2, which is pushing its way up the straw, and that's what's propelling our Thanks for checking out another video done by educators here at Soul Museum and Long Wave Planetarium. We hope that you really enjoyed our experiment today. And of course, guys, help us out. Like this video, post some comments, and make sure you guys are sharing it. That would help us out a whole lot. And of course, anything that you do with us or with our experiments, please feel free to share with us here at our uh, hashtag SL underscore daily dose. That way we can see what you guys are doing at home and we'd really like to see what kind of impact we're making. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys for watching.